Well, to help us understand the latest developments in Germany's quest to get a new government, I'm joined here in the studio by Sarah Brockmeyer. She's a political analyst at the Global Public Policy Institute here in Berlin. Good morning, Sarah. It's been two months now since uh, Chancellor Merkel's conservatives won the election. How close is Chancellor Merkel to forming a new government? She's definitely closer than last week when the Jamaica coalition talks with the Greens and the FDP collapse. Now it looks increasingly likely that the Social Democrats, who've been saying they definitely do not want to join another grand coalition, are indeed considering negotiations with her. It's quite a turnaround by the Social Democrats, it must be said. You know, first its leader comes out and says, no way would we enter another coalition with Chancellor Merkel. No, you know, maybe one of those people seem to be thinking about it. Uh, the German president is going to be hosting talks with uh, various parties who could form a coalition later this week. Uh, he'll be holding those talks on Thursday. What can we expect? He will be putting pressure again on the CDU and the SPD in particular this Thursday. It's his job constitutionally to remind these parties to take the votes that they've gotten now and form a government. And you could see last week that he already was successful. A, month, uh, a week ago on Monday, we were talking that new elections in Germany would be quite likely. And now it looks like we're heading again towards a grand coalition. When we look at the Social Democrats and Chancellor Merkel's conservatives, uh, if they're going to end up going into negotiations, and these could be pretty tough negotiations, mm -hmm. uh, who is in the stronger bargaining position? It looks right now that the CDU and especially Angela Merkel want this more than the SPD, who has been saying they do not want to go into this kind of coalition. So it looks like the SPD is in a bit of a better negotiation position right now. And what will the SPD be looking for in their negotiations with the Conservatives? They'll have to show to their base, to their voters, that there's this clear social democratic signature on this next, next government, now that they have kind of flip-flop on this position. Mm -hmm. So they'll be looking for, they already put out demands on a health insurance reform, pension reform, higher pensions, a higher minimum wage, taxes basically, or higher taxes on wealthy people, and for that, more investments into education and housing. So we're already seeing some of the uh, front lines, if you will, already emerging in this, uh, in mm -hmm. this battle between the Conservatives and the Social Democrats. Now, uh, what about Chancellor Merkel? Chancellor Merkel, uh, she came out of this last election looking pretty good. Her party didn't do as well as it had hoped, but she was still the strongest uh, candidate in those elections. How secure is her position in all of this now? Now, there have been some calls at the, from the Social Democrats that that would be easier to enter a grand coalition if she left. However, she looks very secure right now. The CDU ha does not have an incentive to replace her. First, they don't actually have a successor for her in place that or in, in waiting, basically. And secondly, Germans really like Angela Merkel. 58% of Germans want her to continue as chancellor. Over the weekend, uh, Chancellor Merkel criticized the SPD, the Social Democrats, for having nothing good to say about their last term in government <laughs> with the, the Christian Democrats. Let's listen to what they had to say. What I personally have trouble understanding is that for four years we did good work in a grand coalition. But they act as if it didn't happen. That's not right. We have to talk about our successes, and we worked well together. And we have to talk about what didn't work so well and try to do better. So Chancellor Merkel there commenting on uh, the SPD, what they've been saying about their time mm -hmm. in coalition. Maybe it wasn't all that bad from her perspective, I guess. Uh, she mm -hmm. won the election after that. Uh, now, this is a real dilemma for the SPD, whether or not to go into another coalition, uh, coalition with, with the Christian Democrats. Uh, it's, the SPD is bleeding support. Uh, it barely got 20% in the last election. Um, it wants time out to reinvent itself. How is it going to do that in another grand coalition? It looks very unlikely that it can actually reinvent itself in another grand coalition. That's why they really did not want to do this. But they are in a dilemma right now also because the new elections wouldn't necessarily leave them in a better position. There are a lot of SPD MPs right now, members of parliament, that kind of want to avoid new elections because they are afraid that the results for the SPD will be even worse. So probably the SPD is going to lose votes either way. Now, there's a lot of finger pointing right now at the Free Democrats mm -hmm. who walked out of the coalition negotiations between Chancellor Michael's Conservatives and the Liberals and the, the Greens. Um, 
What about the Free Democrats? They're, they're, they got elect, re-elected to Parliament after being out for a session, and then they walk away from a chance to govern. How much blame is being put on that party? The other parties are putting a lot of blame on them, but you can see in the polls that they are not about are not likely to lose votes from this. A lot of people, especially in their base, like the principal stance that their party leader, Christian Lindner, has taken. So they might actually win from this. They wanted to be in opposition, and they're most likely going to be in the opposition now. Final question, just a quick answer. Uh, do you think we'll get a coalition government in place by Christmas? It looks highly unlikely. It's, okay. We're probably looking more into March or April right now. March or April, okay. Sarah Brockmeyer from the Global Public Policy Institute here in Berlin. Thanks for being with us this morning. You're welcome.